Hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Today I'm going to show you some of these LED light bulbs. I'm going to put them in my garage, which right now I have kind of the standard uh, A19 shape bulb. And they are LED bulbs, but um, they're not nearly as bright as these are going to be, so I hope. And let me open these up and kind of show you what they have. I'm going to show you before and after, as well as I recently purchased a... Um, a device that measures light output so it measures the lux and I'll get into that but um, let me open these up and see what they have alright so this is it it can fold up but you can also fold it out into this fan pattern and obviously this is adjustable it works at any angle that you want to set so you can have them kind of pointed down I think most likely I'm going to have them at kind of a slight angle I'll have to play with it and see um, exactly what works the best but obviously the more outward you have it the more it's going to hit the walls and then also has LED right in the center to go down so this one you know this company has made a lot of different versions I guess some of the earlier ones had like maybe just um, you know three or four of these little fan patterns and this one has five and with each one obviously it has more wattage and more lumens now this is made in china it says it on here but what is impressive to me about it is that it has over twenty thousand uh reviews or um you know ratings on amazon so i don't know that i've seen more than that actually for any other product so that's a lot of reviews and it's it's well rated so i have to imagine this is going to do well it is all aluminum for all of this housing and the reason this kind of looks all you know funny like this is this is for a heat sink basically so it dissipates the heat out of these more effectively um, the only thing that is plastic on here is the top shield all of this um, these pieces the hinges all of that um, is aluminum and then only this part is plastic so that's um, a good sign and they're pretty affordable two of these are um, right now they're less than 50 bucks on Amazon so um, you know I think that's pretty reasonable for something like this it says it's 15,000 lumens of light which is a lot a standard like a regular 60 watt incandescent bulb is 800 lumens so uh, this is obviously a lot of 60 watt equivalent light bulbs out there so I want to go put this out in my barn and replace all of my current ones in the garage with this one and we will see what it does here but it has a two-year warranty and um, you know there's really nothing to it as far as installing it it comes out of the box just like this and I'll just play with the angle that I want to do so let's go put it in the garage and see how it does all right so I know it's hard to uh, probably see really good for me but I have three lights in here and these are um, just standard bulbs. I think they're 60 watt. I'll confirm um, or 60 watt equivalent. They are LEDs. So let me swap out to three of these uh, new ones. These are 150 watt a piece. So it'll go from, um, you know, I think these are like seven or eight watts uh, each to 150 watts each. So it's going to be a big change. All right. So we're in here with these three lights that I've had before. And this is a light meter and so it measures lux so lux is um, not something maybe you typically see you normally see lumens for a light for how it's rated but lumens is how much total light output that light puts out and a lux is how much light is in a single area so like a one square meter so you know think of it as if you had a flashlight and the flashlight put all the light right here the lumens would match the lux but in this case these lights obviously put light out to the side down all that kind of stuff so it gets a lot lower lux than it has lumens anyways right here in the middle if i go right underneath the light i get about 50 for lux and then you know kind of the average is you know as soon as you get further away we're talking about 10 if I go in this corner here I'm at seven if I go over here to this far corner it's 
about five. If I go, you know, vertical, it's gonna be way lower. It's gonna be like two. But if I point it at the light, it's about five. So you can see, you know, the brightest it gets about 50 and the lowest pointing at the lights about five. So let's switch it out to these new lights and see what I get. All right, so what is so nice about these lights is that you can adjust them and I point them up just a little bit of an angle and it really gets the walls a lot better for like the storage shelves over there, which is really quite nice um, that it does. So these lights are really cool. Okay, so now we have these new lights in here. Might go right underneath, try to get underneath this one here. Before I was at 50, now I'm at over a thousand. So that's a big, big improvement. If I go around here looking for, you know, it does drop down further out here. If I go in this corner, I'm at 70, 75 or something. If I go over to this other corner where I was at, I think five before when I was pointing at the light. Now I'm at 32. So still, uh, certainly lower than a thousand in the middle, but this one is a lot brighter uh, than before. If I go around for like an average number, I am certainly much, much higher. And the thing that I didn't quite measure before was with this door open, the amount of light that comes out is also very impressive. And this is me not having these lights pointed all the way out left to right. I have a lot of it pointed down, but you know, the amount of brightness in here is a lot brighter. All right, so the only last thing I'll say is that, you know, these turn instantly on even when it's cold out here. So right now it's about 20 degrees. So obviously, uh, 20 degrees Fahrenheit, obviously it can get colder than that, but these lights should work well down low temperature, which is something obviously like fluorescent uh, bulbs do not do so good at. So. Uh, I'm excited to have these out here in this uh, garage uh, to help me see a lot better out here whereas before, especially without a ceiling only to help reflect the light, these push all the light down which is really handy for these kind of spaces out here. So um, at least my initial impression, these are really good. Stay tuned for more videos. If I have any issues with these, I will make sure to uh, post an update. Otherwise, look down below for a link to these uh, on Amazon and take care.